Hey, Laker Nation, Harrison Graham here on the Lakers Report. We got some rumors and news to get into, but first I want to ask you guys to subscribe to the channel. Haven't been as active recently, but we're trying to ramp our videos back up just for you guys. We're going to cover the latest Lakers news, rumors, trades if they do happen, trade rumors that are buzzing heading into the trade deadline, including a couple today. So hit that big red button and subscribe. Let's build this channel back up to the status we want it to be. And with that being said, we'll go ahead and get on in to today's show. <laughs> All right, let's start things off with a trade around Kyle Lowry. Reports are starting to sur surface that the Raptors might be deciding to trade their veteran point guard, and it makes sense, right? Because a couple of years ago, they won a title. Last year, they were still really good. But now, you know, get rid of the older guys and get younger if you're Toronto. I think that's the direction they're probably going to go in here. Now, it seems that there could be a split within the front office, but – Toronto's not contending this year. He's in the final year of his deal, turns 35 in March, and he would give the Lakers a championship point guard who uh, is still playing at a very, very high level. Just look at what he's doing this year. 17 points per game, six boards, seven assists. He's shooting 37% from three, and he's a proven champion, and he thrives when he doesn't have to be the top dog, a la the year they got uh, Kawhi Leonard in Toronto and won a championship just a couple of years ago go I still think he has a lot to give er, has a lot in the tank and would give a team like the Lakers quite a bit of punch now our good friends over at NBA analysis they always cook up the good trades curious to see what you guys think about this one Kyle Lowry Terrence Davis who's a guard that averages about seven points per game and Aaron Baines to the Lakers for Dennis Schroeder Contavious Caldwell Pope and Montrez Harrell straight up would you do this trade? I want to know from you guys. I'll give my thoughts in just a second. Type Y for yes, type N for no. Would you agree to this trade package if you were the Los Angeles Lakers? Now, if it were me, this feels a little rich for Kyle Lowry because I like uh, Lowry, obviously, and Baines is actually an underrated player, but... You're only getting slightly better at guard, in my opinion, from Schroeder to Lowry. Now, playoff experience matters, and that's where Lowry has a major uh, advantage there, but you're getting worse from Harrell to Aaron Baines and KCP down to uh, Terrence Davis. That's not even close. This is a little much to give up for a rental, in my opinion. Now, the Lakers are in win-down mode. They're trying to win as many titles as they can, while LeBron James is still playing at a very, very high level. More on LeBron later in the show, but this feels a little steep for Kyle Lowry, in my opinion. I think Lowry would be great in Los Angeles. I think he would be a nice addition if they want to explore some trade options. I just think that particular trade is a little too much to give up. Now, if they do trade for him, Dennis Schroeder's likely going into trade because uh, financially and just position-wise, that is what makes sense for everyone involved. But we'll just have to wait and see. I do think there's a good chance Toronto will move on from their veteran point guard, who is obviously one of the best players, if not the best player, in Toronto for Raptors franchise history. History, but that window is kind of closing. They're starting to build around guys like Pascal Siakam, OG Ananobi, and the young guys. That's why they let Mark Gasol go, who is now with the Los Angeles Lakers. So keep an eye on this one. It would not completely shock me. Now, today's show is presented by Pro Flowers. Why? Because Valentine's Day is almost here. We are just, what, four days away? It's February 10th. You better get going and get out of the doghouse or stay out of the doghouse by getting some flowers for 15% off at chatsports.com slash flowers. Go to that link. It'll be in the comments and in the description. Tons of different flower arrangements. We got chocolate towers available as well. That's the best of both worlds. You can get the flowers, some chocolates. That way you get in on the action as well, and you can benefit from some of these purchases. Chatsports.com slash flowers. That link will get you 15% off at checkout. Again, check the comments. Check the description. Click and shop today. Clock's ticking. Valentine's Day just four days away. How about Victor Oladipo? He's been connected to trade rumors. Obviously, the Pacers sent him to the Rockets in that four-team blockbuster for James Harden, but reports have hit in the last couple of weeks that uh, Oladipo, there's a good chance they will, they will ship him out before the deadline because he's in the last year of his deal. The Rockets, once they traded James Harden, basically committed to at least some level of a rebuild, and there's a pretty good chance Oladipo wouldn't re-sign in Houston, so why not try and get something 
for him. I think he would be a nice addition with the Lakers. He would be a, a secondary playmaker next to LeBron and, De and, and guys like Dennis Schroeder, if he wasn't part of a trade for Oladipo, would help those guys out, especially LeBron, who his player efficiency usage is just so high year in and year out because he's the point guard, he's active on defense, basically. He does all those things. Obviously, he's not listed as the point guard, but we know, especially in crunch time, LeBron is running the show. And Oladipo, during, you know, earlier on in the games, for example, or if they want to give LeBron nights off, can handle those type of duties as well. I think he would be a nice addition. This was a trade I cooked up for Victor Oladipo. Not NBA analysis, yours truly on this one. Oladipo and Ben McLemore to the Lakers for KCP, Kyle Kuzma, Wes Matthews. Now, the Rockets may want draft compensation for uh, Victor Oladipo, but... Kyle Kuzma, nice young piece. KCP isn't exactly old. Matthews to help the money work out there. Who says no in this one? Type L for the Lakers, type R for the Rockets. I think it's a solid addition for the Lakers because Macklemore's a nice shooter as well. And yeah, you kind of would punt on the Kyle Kuzma experiment, but it hasn't really evolved that much over the past couple of years, if we're being completely honest. Victor Oladipo is a huge upgrade and helps you try to win that championship once again this season and that is the focus for where the Lakers are as a basketball team right now they're very much in the present not thinking about the future now this is what a lineup would look like with Victor Oladipo if that trade went down Schroeder Oladipo in the backcourt LeBron Anthony Davis Mark Gasol in the front court, and you still have a good bench Caruso who plays really well with LeBron Taylor Horton Tucker you can give him expanded minutes Ben McElmore can come in and be uh, a three-point shooter type as well. Markeith Morris is still a good player. We know Montrez Harrell is one of the better uh, bench players in the NBA. It's not like your bench takes a major hit because you trade Kyle Kuzma and you lose KCP. Oladipo is better than KCP. So I think at the end of the day, that'd be a pretty good trade for the Los Angeles Lakers. Oladipo, I think, for sure gets dealt. We'll see about Kyle Lowry, but these will be two of the bigger names mentioned once the NBA trade deadline hits in the next month, month and a half. Pick one to trade for. If you had to have one of these guys, who do you want to try and win a championship with? Type KL for Kyle Lowry. Type VO for Victor Oladipo. The Lakers may not be big fish hunting at the deadline, but the, one of these guys might be a possibility if they're willing to part ways with guys like Kyle Kuzma. So get your votes in. Go ahead and let me know. Let's talk a little MVP here. LeBron James, is he leading the MVP race? Well, ESPN's Tim Bontemps uh, did a poll, a survey of 100 MVP voters, and the results of that were LeBron has a slight advantage over Joel Embiid of the Sixers, who's having a fantastic season. It is wild to me that LeBron James has not won an MVP award since the 2012-2013 season. That's back when he was with the Miami Heat. Now, it was obviously voter fatigue where LeBron could arguably win it every single year, and they started giving it to other guys like KD won it the one year. Steph Curry had a couple of great years, obviously. Uh, you know, Giannis the last few years, Harden. But LeBron could win it every year, and he's doing it again this year and shooting a career best from three as well, right at 40%. I think the King is trying to win one more MVP. That would give him five for his career. He's certainly a worthy candidate, about 25 30% into this season. Will LeBron win MVP this year? Type Y for yes, type N for no. Kind of feels like it could be his last chance to win it, but hey, he just keeps on trucking along at 36 years old. Get your votes in. Will LeBron James win MVP? We do also have betting odds that have been released recently. He is the favorite according to these as well. So not just the survey, but the betting odds have LeBron on top also. Joel Embiid right on his tail. Luka Doncic, Kevin Durant, Giannis. There's a couple of other guys with plus 1,000 or better odds as well. This is one of those years where usually by this point, it's like a three-man race. Like there's still five, six, seven guys that could actually make a run at this thing. So it'll be fun to watch this thing play out. But as of now, I do think if the season ended today, LeBron would have a damn good chance of winning it. It would probably be him or Joel Embiid. And I think LeBron would actually win it because while there was voter fatigue for a while, now it's been eight years since he's won it. So maybe voters will be willing to give him the award. We'll see what happens. I don't think he cares. He just wants to win championships at this point in his career.